pray. the kitchen's fine. Hey, turkey is golden. Pies are baking. Mother's about to take her apron off. About time you took a rest. Why don't you sit down? Okay. All we have to do now is, um, wait for our family to arrive. Well, it's perfect timing as usual. You know, I don't know how you manage it on these big occasions so easily. No matter how many people we have, I never understood it. Well, darling, after years, I, I've had about 30 years experience of second nature. Well, maybe second nature to you, but I was here for all those 30 years, too. Oh, not in the kitchen you weren't. Oh, yes, I was one year. Don't you remember one year when I decided that I was going to make the Christmas dinner? Right. Right, that was the year that I had the flu, and you didn't do it all badly, as a matter of fact. Oh, never again. I don't know how you manage it. <laughs> well, because I love... I love doing it. I think Christmas Eve is my favorite occasion. So do I. It's when we get the chance to have everybody here together. I think now that the children are grown, I think it's right that they should spend Christmas Day with their families. But as long as we can have them here on Christmas Eve, I'm happy. That so, sound like sentimental? No, not at all. Unless I'm too sentimental, too. Merry Christmas, Jim. Merry Christmas, darling. before everybody came, and then I set okay. up cribs in the spare room, and they can take a nap later on. Thank you so much, sir. Well, listen, shall we take one present and go into the kitchen? Let's yeah. go into the one kitchen. One present and we'll come back and open yeah. the other yeah. one. Okay, yeah. take your time. We'll answer the door. All right, here, yeah. sweetheart, this way. Daisy, come on, darling. <laughs> Would you like to try my eggnog, John? I'd love it. It's all arranged. The car is going to be delivered the first thing tomorrow morning. She hasn't found out about it yet? Doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> I'd love to be here to see the look on her face. Well, Mary's always driven the old car. It's about time she got a crack at the new one for a change. You got her favorite color, I hope to me. Forest green. I think she'll like it all right. It's a nice little car. It's so compact. Mm -hmm. Well, she'll appreciate it, busy as she is. Well, at least she'll be able to run her errands in style anyway. You still working as hard, John? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Have you given any more thought about taking a new lawyer into the firm? Yeah, but it's going to have to be two lawyers now, Jim. Walter's leaving now, too. He is? Yeah, he just told me the other day. It, uh... Jim, this is confidential, so I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't say anything yet. 
He's going into the prosecutor's office again. They'll be glad to get him back, I'm sure. Well, you've both been working too hard. Mm. Well, sometimes a man has to spend more time at his work than he wants to. Well, that's the time to take a real hard look at what's happening and do something about it. Like Walter has, you mean? Yes. Well, it's true, of course. I've, I've been putting in very long hours, taking time away from Pat and the twins. Yes, but John, I know you feel as I do, that work should come second to our family. Well, of course, Jim, but, uh, well, I'm ashamed to admit that I haven't been living up to that lately. Well, all you have to do is put on more people. I'll do that as soon as the holidays are over, but... Here's to Alice and Steve, and to our new grandchild that will be with us next Christmas. Oh, Dear no. grandchild. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Oh, we are really so excited. Mm. Oh, Mom, you don't know how excited I am. I'm <laughs> not a bit flustered. Oh, honey, that's really oh. Is that why you follow me around the house with the cushions for me to sit on? Oh, <laughs> no, no, you must not listen to this. This is sheer gossip. <laughs> have you thought of any names yet? Or is it too early for that? No, we have, as a matter of fact. Uh, I'll bet that if it's a boy, you're going to call him Stephen Jr. Uh, no. No, uh, no. <laughs> Give Mary the chance, and she'll always put in a good word for tradition. <laughs> What's wrong with tradition? Uh, there's nothing wrong with tradition. It's just that I thought that, you know, two, having two Steves around the house would be a little confused. Yeah, after all, now you didn't name Russ James Jr. Why not? Uh, true. Because I thought having two Jims around the house would be a little confusing. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so anyway, we feel that if we have a boy, we're going to name him Christopher. Nice. And if you have a little girl, Christine. Oh, oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like them both. Mm -hmm. But after an hour or so of concentration, that's all you can come up with? Two names? <laughs> well, we're not too efficient. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, whatever the name is, and um, whether it is a boy or a girl, we're so happy about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh thank, thank you. Just think, next year at this time, you'll be ha celebrating your first Christmas with your new baby. Mm -hmm. And that's such a special occasion, Alice. Oh, I know. Hey, by the way, where are the twins? <laughs> Upstairs in the spare room, we set up cribs in the spare room <laughs> for them so they could nap. And you can use it next year. Mm. Alice, I don't think they're asleep. Would you like to see them? I would love to. Okay. Here, let me help you now. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right, silly. It's all right, Steve. I felt the same way about Pat. <laughs> you know something? I think I'd better go out and check our turkey. Would you excuse me? I won't be more than a Mary, can I give you a hand doing oh, anything? thank you, John. Oh, sure. Stay there. I'll get it. Well, Merry Christmas, Paula. Merry so Christmas. glad you could both make it. Yeah, Come on thank in. You. Oh, boy. I was afraid we'd get stuck with hospital emergencies with the weather the way it is, but <laughs> people are taking care of themselves. Oh, oh that's right. great. <laughs> <laughs> can I hang your I coat? Oh, I listen, I still remember where the closet is. Oh, oh thank you. that's good. Paula, you look lovely. Thank you. I'm glad that you could get here in such good time. So am I. Not even ready to start dinner, so it's time for a drink. Wonderful. Um, would you both go in, please, and make yourself comfortable? I'm on my way to the mm, kitchen to check. Well, why not? Anything I can do to help? No, dear. I'll be right back. Okay, Thank okay boss. Well, well, I can't hi. be the only woman guest tonight. Hello, how are you? Hello, it's nice to have you again with us, Paula. No, you're not the only woman guest, Paula. Alice and Pat are both upstairs looking after the twins. <laughs> Come on and join us, you two. I'll get you a, a little bit of egg eggnog. Well, how are you? Hey, why don't I take these? Uh, why don't I put them under the tree? See, that's a good idea. <laughs> there we go. All right, now. Come on, sit down. Hi, Pat. Oh, boy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, here we go. Oh, well, that's fine. That's good. special. There you go, Paula. Oh, baby, no, 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 just stay right there. I'll sit right here. Yeah. yeah. Well, Cindy tells me you took some presents over to her and Belle, then. Eh? Yeah. Well, I uh, want to thank both of you for remembering them. Oh, Russ, I don't think that Mrs. It... Matthews is perfectly all right. I'm very fond of Cindy. We're very fond of Cindy, too, Paula. I'm glad to hear it. I admire Cindy's determination and spirit, especially now with all the troubles that Ted's had. She's a very brave young woman. I agree. Paula, you must miss your own family during these holidays. Where do you uh, come from, Paul, if you don't mind my asking? No, not at all. I'm from Chicago. Oh. But Christmas at home was never much of anything, so I can't honestly say I miss it, no. I can understand that. Well, you don't find Christmas unpleasant, I hope. Oh. No, not at all. It just brings back unhappy memories, that's all. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better explain. I was sent off to boarding school from the time I was six. 
Oh, well, at first I came home for Christmas, but at first? Uh, Mrs. Matthews, my parents were very active socially. So Christmas was an important season to them socially. But I didn't figure in their holiday social world. Neither did my sister. We did have an old housekeeper who tried to make it up to us, but that's not the same. So by the time I was nine, I started spending Christmas with school friends and their families. Families who, parents, friends whose parents cared about Christmas in a very different way. I'm sorry, Paula, I didn't realize. Oh, neither did I. Well, it's all right now. I resented Christmas for a while. I guess once I became a doctor and saw what real suffering people could have, I realized how really lucky I've been. My Christmas are getting better. And this is the best one I've had for a long time. Thank you very much for including me. We'll return to our story in just a moment. time. 
then for the continuing story of Another World. And one half hour from now, for most of these stations, be sure to watch the continuing story of Somerset. This is Bill Wolf speaking. We of Another World would like to wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas and the happiest of holiday seasons. Like first million In researching this, Mary, I discovered that at that point, the Supremes went on to have five number one records in a row. That's right, and now I have 12 gold records hanging up on my wall. It hurts so bad. by the Supreme. Mm. Those were the days. Those were. Do you mean? CTV, Boston. How to Survive a Marriage will not be presented today so that we may bring you a special hour-long episode of Another World. How to Survive a Marriage will return at its regular time on Monday. special 10th anniversary one-hour broadcast of Another World. Gentlemen, do you think we could have a little music?
astrologer looks to the stars and sees death.